subscribe to Motoroids for the most in-depth and detailed car and bike reviews. Hit that bell icon and you will be notified before everyone else. Hi, this is Motoroids and we are in another city in South India today to review this fantastic looking car. It's called the Volvo XC40 and we are here to tell you all about it. So let's begin with the Volvo XC40's face first. It comes with this Thor hammer pattern LED DRLs which will look to chip away the dominance of entry level SUVs like the Mercedes GLA, the Audi Q3 and the BMW X1. And by the looks of it, this is a very distinct looking car. You see the face is upright, it's very bold, it has this very confident stance about it. At the front you have this blacked out grille with this neat looking Volvo logo and everything reeks of simplicity, yet it looks very sophisticated, looks very nice. And for India, the XC40 would be launched in the R design variant first, which is the top spec variant. And this one gets all the bells and whistles that uh, Volvo is known for, including radar and camera based safety systems. And it brings something very fresh to the table if you compare it to the likes of the Q3 and the X1 and the GLA. It looks very different from what has been available until now in the market. So that's the face. If you take a look at it, there's a neat looking crease over here on the bonnet on the other side too. And if I move around, the lip area around this air dam has been blacked out. There's a glossy finish to the lower lip and there's this neatly hidden headlamp washer too and there are LED units inside this headlamp cluster. So all in all a very bold looking nice looking face which should bring a lot of zing and freshness to the table in this segment. If you want proof about Scandinavian simplicity which is also clever the proof is right here you see these high quality wipers the washer you don't see any of that here it's right inbuilt inside these blades so every time you pull that lever the water comes through here moving over to the sides you see this very neat looking clamshell bonnet line that runs through and there's this slight bulge across the sides which is almost parallel to the roof and that highlights the width of the car if you look at the bottom here the doors have this neat uh, chiseled cutout which looks more prominent in a shade like white and of course at the bottom because this is an suv you get black cladding too you get these 18 inch fancy looking alloy wheels which have been wrapped around 235 section rubber and these tires are Pirelli P0s which have been specially developed for Volvo and come as standard on this R design variant which at launch will be the only variant available. The Volvo XC40 at launch will be available in three colors blue, red and a white. With each of those variants you get a contrast shaped roof which on this variant has been blacked out there's this nice shoulder line which swoops upwards and then it comes across here there's a neat r design logo here uh, a really nice looking spoiler that comes to the back and over here at the top sits a nice panoramic sunroof at the back you have these boomerang shaped led tail lights and they sit very nicely with this bulging body panel over here and then this tailgate is electrically operated at the bottom you have here nice cutouts on both sides which have been outlined in chrome and they're not there just for cosmetic purpose they're actually pipes on each side so that's a very nice thing the black cladding wraps around over here as well the license plate sits at the bottom and there's this badge here which tells you about the diesel motor inside along with this all-wheel drive and the r design badge so that sums up the rear of the volvo xc40 now the Scandinavians are known for being clever and the Volvo XC40 reeks of it. So we'll talk about the boot behind this tailgate which can swallow 460 litres of luggage. So as long as the key is inside your pocket you can just swivel your leg under the tailgate. It opens up like that, it's electronically operated. There are switches here so that it can shut down on its own too. And I'll show you what's clever inside. So there's this tray here which can sit like this to go flat and you can also do this and tuck it in here so there are these hooks for any of your carry bags to be hung here and there's a separate compartment if you have any loose items you can stack them in there then there is this area which if you probably go skiing or golfing you can carry longer items and a part of it can just go through that area there I'm just going to go inside and drop the seats down. Just give me one minute. 
So that's one seat down. And that's the other seat down. So you get quite a lot of area to store your luggage. And the XC40 comes with a space saver spare tire too. There you see, it looks like that. So what's it like to drive the Volvo XC40? Well, it has been paired to a 2-litre diesel motor which uh, pumps out 190 HP of power and 400 newton meters of torque. Those numbers are at par with the BMW X1 and that motor has been paired to a very nice smooth shifting 8-speed Geartronic gearbox. And apart from that, you get drive modes too. Well, five of them to be precise. There's eco, there's comfort, off-road, dynamic and individual. And uh, apart from that, uh, there's no air suspension or anything. So those driving modes only alter the characteristics of the engine's power delivery and how the steering weighs up otherwise. So right off the mark, we will start in comfort mode and tell you more as how this car drives. Initially, it takes off quite nicely, pretty smooth. The engine is quite refined and silent at idle speeds. At speeds build up though, after about 3000 RPM or so, it starts getting a little louder inside the cabin too, but there's no clatter as such. It's still very refined, although the noise inside the cabin is slightly on the higher side. And if I slot this car into dynamic mode, it pulls on to a particular gear for longer durations and can drive all the way up to 4000 rpm and uh, the steering weighs up pretty nicely too uh, in the dynamic mode that is and apart from that you also have these pedal shifters here when you're in the mood for some fun behind the wheel if you have to do things manually now we are on the outer ring road here in hyderabad which is a fairly straight nice stretch of road and it's very smooth too so we can't tell you a lot about how this car rides. It feels nice inside the cabin though. Any sort of undulations, the minor ones on the road are nicely filtered out and it's also quiet inside the cabin. Outside noise is well contained. On the other hand, the way this handles, again, it's a straight stretch of road, but we can tell you at triple digit speeds, it feels quite stable and fairly relaxed. Now, if I tell you I'm doing about 100 kilometers per hour right now, and the gearbox has slotted itself uh, in the seventh ratio, and it's doing pretty fine. It feels fairly relaxed in here. Although once you mash the bell, it takes a little while in comfort mode for the car to make a move on, although if you have car spotted into dynamic mode there's already ample amounts of revs dialed in so making a move on is immediate for the way this car rides again we are on smooth roads so not much to tell you on that count but it feels very European very solid on that front so we finally managed to find ourselves a bad patch of road and it's uh, within the city in Hyderabad and what that tells us about OXC40 suspension is that it's firm but not uncomfortably firm it's ideally supple can absorb uh, quite a few deep ruts and uh, undulations on its own quite nicely and uh, occupants should be happy and comfortable inside the cabin for that matter uh, although a thorough test will reveal further as how much of that is true but from what we experienced and what we observed the ride quality is pretty comfortable now what's unique about the volvo xc40 is that it brings features to the table and to the segment which have never been seen before in cars of this class in fact things like these have been on the s class for some time now and what we're talking about here is pilot assist and adaptive cruise control what happens is these are radar and camera based features so if you have roads like these which are marked through these white lines and if you're following a car there's a radar ahead which detects the car ahead and how the lane shapes up or uh, flows through a bend and the steering takes control on its own however you'd see a message popping through which will ask you for your hands to be on the wheel at all times but then it can dial in inputs on its own even the speed it can keep a safe distance from the car ahead and if you've set up a speed of say 100 kilometers per hour for example and the car ahead is doing 80 it will still do only 80 unless the car ahead moves away and it will then move on to 100 or 
whatever speed that you set in now the other neat feature is this sign that you see here which shows 100 the road over here has speed limit of 100 kilometers per hour and you can either turn that off or turn that on too so there's this option here which uh, gives you road sign information that's very neat if you ask us and what we're going to do right now is try and demonstrate how park pilot and adaptive cruise control works on our roads that's almost semi-autonomous driving features that we have here in cars of this class now so the first feature we're going to demonstrate is pilot assist where as long as the roads are marked as you can see right now the car can steer itself through the lane on its own so right now you see my hands are off the wheel and the car is steering itself although i'm slightly nervous there's traffic around me but this works like a charm and this is for you to see itself you see the steering is putting in slight inputs on its own and there's a ding if you've taken your hands off your wheel it wants a few inputs from your side and otherwise this is just for demonstration only you're supposed to keep your hands on the wheel at all times but it can do things on its own now there's an 80 kilometer speed limit so you see that thing marking right there now if i switch pilot assist on and try to move out of my lane the car will steer itself back into the correct lane and correct the course like that if i do that again see that is how it does things on its own now for some reason it's in the middle of the lane but okay yeah so now it has brought itself in the right lane now there's a truck ahead of me so the car will keep a safe distance and keep following it although i've set up a speed of 66 the truck ahead of me is doing lesser speeds so we're still doing about 52 or something and that's okay but the car is also steering itself following the truck while keeping a safe distance so that's a pretty neat feature first in its segment and uh, very unique if you ask us uh, there's no other car any of the german trio which has these features so right now as you can see there's a corner ahead of me and i have my hands off the wheel the car is steering itself i'm not doing anything at all it even brakes on its own if it figures out that there's a car ahead which has stopped so there you go that's safety for you and it's not for nothing that volvo is known to make some of the safest cars out there now if i try to move out of my lane it brings it back on its own and go. so you have to always make sure that there's a green sign the green steering sign is lit up we have another flowing corner coming up the car is steering itself all on its own um, the only trouble is that most roads in india do not have these markings so that might be a problem sometimes but where you have roads like these it's pretty relaxing you get a tiny brake works very nice so these features work really well although the xc40 only has front radar where the xc60 and the xc90 have uh, radar at the back too but volvo's goal of uh, making the driver and occupants feel relaxed at the end of the drive so these two features work very well in that regards but then you have to ensure that the roads are marked like we have over here this outer ring road around hyderabad and as you can see right now the car is steering itself i don't really have to do much except for the fact that you know for the odd occasion i have to dial in some inputs and it just works and it works really well but at all times we would suggest uh, keep your hands on the wheel and as the name suggests these are assist systems this does not mean that the car will start driving itself on its own and uh, it can give you that tiny weeny bit of uh, break when you're driving on long stretches but then you're supposed to keep your hands on the wheel at all times and your eyes on the road so what's it like inside the volvo xc40 well due to paucity of time we'll have to be really quick here with what we do so let me tell you about these seats first they're very nicely bolstered and offer great support the driver's seat here gets lumbar support as well and electronic adjustment the passenger seat as well also has electronic adjustment and you have this extendable under thigh support area which has a switch here so you can push it back or pull it back so there will never be any dearth of under thigh support if you're a tall person underneath the driver's seat there is a tiny compartment which can store your ipad and 
if you really need to know how brilliant Scandinavians are at being thoughtful, this car has a dustbin of its own, so you can also take it off, empty it when it's done, and you don't really have to throw trash outside, bits of paper, anything like that. There are cup holders here, this glossy finish, there's a Nash tray which also comes out like that, which can be emptied. And this is a wireless charging area, where you just have to place your phone. This is key enabled, so this is fast charging. Uh, replenishes the juice in your phone's battery real quick my phone doesn't have wireless charging so it doesn't support there's this area is illuminated so you don't really have to struggle in the dark there are two usb ports here and the highlight is this large touch screen which is the same as you get on the xc60 and the xc90 it is accompanied by this really nice vertical ac vents and it has these really premium dials which shut the airflow and otherwise you just have to move them to uh, direct the airflow towards or away from you now this touch screen it has this really nice home button there's like you have it on german cars there are no switches or a touchpad or something which controls the screen here it is slightly tilted towards the driver and everything is on the screen it has only just this one button so there again a lot more simplicity you just have to press it twice like that and comes to the home screen to your left you have your options here there's radio bluetooth and everything of that sort and this particular r design variant comes fitted with 13 speakers that's a 660 watt harman kardon system uh, now being thoughtful again these doors they don't have any speakers embedded rather what volvo has done is uh, they have uh, put the speakers here and in other bits and places around the cabin so the sound quality is really nice and for that matter let me just show you there is something called a sound experience which you have so you can focus the sound to the driver towards everyone or just the rear okay and then there's surround sound so you can select surround sound and also the level as how much you need it to be and it's music to your ears as it should be the other thing about this screen is you just have to swipe it this way now there's a, a few options are here you see the car status everything that you need to know about the car oil level tire pressure monitoring system service interval and things like that and you go back again and then there's driver performance tells you about the average fuel consumption so this car has been has been drinking about 10.5 liters to every 100 kilometers so all in all it must be about 10 to 12 for a liter of diesel that you should get then you also have preferences here and it shows you can do things about the graph scale and everything the other thing let me just go back what do you have here there's this the system by the way is apple carplay and android auto compliant so this is important information here there's your navigation that's right there there's the music which is being played on your phone then there is call information your contacts to resend contacts and everything else and apart from that you also have uh, the car's manual embedded into screen which is search enabled so if you want to search for anything about the car for example i need to know about certain things about this car's display so i can just go to the manual and search for it and it just does the job so i'll just tell you how that works as well so if i need to know about the fluids that i need to replenish the car with so everything that's in there in the manual about oil is all here specifications or checking and filling engine oil and all that information so you get the drift now the air conditioning it's two zone so you can set the temperature through here and it's quite simple just do this and then it does its job on the other side here we have certain important functions about the car for the host of features that this car brings to the segment as many first so you have automatic start stop system, you have this road size information which picks up information about speed limits and everything else electronically and displays it right here. Then there is park assist and it offers two choices. So you can either let the car park itself in the space available and on the other hand once you get inside the car and you have to move out of the space the car can do that on its own as well. So park in, park out, those two things you can do. If we have the camera, there's that rear camera. You can also zoom in by the way that's the volvo xc40's competitor which is standing behind 
and it also has these guidance lines that you can see by the way this xc40 has active bending lights two cornering lights as you can see it and there's other things like this electronic stability control program which can be switched off lane keeping aid park assist the instrument console will also show you information like the map in the middle so it's easy for you to navigate right and inside the instrument cluster also pops this tiny subscreen which gives you a lot of information about your driving and it can also tell you information about the media source which is in use phone calls and navigation so everything that you set if you want to mute that lady who keeps talking to guide you you can mute her too so that's the instrument console and uh, the headlight switches are here unlike a dial you have in typical european cars that's uh, the dial for the wipers and uh, that is how you release the boot that is the headlamp leveler there's neat space for your wallet over there and those are the switches for the power windows you have these really nice looking highlights in the door panel there's that door pull lever there's that harman garden speaker and while we're talking about it yeah there you see the, that pattern over here again the textured pattern and it is over there as well now if you talk about this glove box it isn't very deep kind of shallow not too much space here although it is cool so it can keep a few drinks or anything if you have of that sort quite cold the other highlight of the xc40 is this panoramic sunroof which comes as standard it opens up like that it's a two-stage glass area this area opens the other remains the way it is so it opens up like that lets in a lot of light inside the cabin and you also have these lamps which are leds white colored lights to light up the cabin once it gets dark and the roof otherwise is gray in shade so it won't get too dirty the other thing i would like to tell you about is this key again if you take a look at it there's quite a lot of thoughtful bits about this key too like these buttons for example they're not here in the center so you probably have to take it out of your pocket and keep hunting for the right button you can just use your thumb to unlock or lock because this is the natural position for you to hold the key so you just hold it like this and lock and unlock so there you go again a very thoughtful feature you have a bin here to keep few other things that you might have and i'm not sure it's quite a little dark here but this area here around the door pads and the carpet you can also get that in a lava orange shade or this black shade that we have over here with this red car so that is an optional bit if you don't like the lava orange if it's probably too loud for your taste you can select this black option too what's it like in the back well this backrest is sort of upright and it's 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 a little too firm for my liking although i haven't even spent a few minutes here but it's just how it feels if i get in the space as i have right now otherwise you have two ac vents over here you can control the airflow you can only shut it or keep it on if you like it there's a usb charging socket over here and both the rear seats are heated so you have those switches here and i'm not sure it's 41 degrees outside in hyderabad here i don't know if they serve any purpose but they're there anyways so that's okay there's a central armrest with two cup holders the other thing here is uh, this area uh, the body line sort of curves upwards and although i'm tall however if someone's short they would be sitting over here and because the interiors are dark in shade they might feel a little claustrophobic but then again you have this panoramic sunroof so one shouldn't complain the bench you sit with your knees slightly up and it's only after we spend some time inside the cabin would we know how comfortable or otherwise it is however i am six feet tall and as you can see my shins are already rubbing against the bottom of the front backrest the seat is has been set for my driving position too but legroom as such is quite decent if not opulent but comfortable as of now but then only once we spend some more time over here would we know how it feels over longer journeys 
There's a good amount of headroom, so no complaints there whatsoever. But there's not much width, so two people will be comfortable. The third person would be a squeeze. To conclude, uh, the Volvo XC40 is a brilliant new car. It brings a lot of freshness to the segment and brings in a lot of features which were only seen on cars like the S-Class until now. So it has a lot of novelties and tricks up its sleeve. It's powered by an efficient and pretty smooth uh, diesel motor paired to this 8-speed gearbox. And for being a Volvo, it brings a lot of safety systems on board, never seen in this segment before. Then there are premium bits like the 13-speaker Harman Kardon system, this really, really nice touchscreen. And from what we know, this car will be launched in July officially. But Volvo tells us that this will be priced where top spec variants of the GLA X1 and the Q3 reside. So we are looking at a price of upwards of 40 lakh rupees X showroom. Now at that price, you get everything that you can imagine from a car of this class and then there's more. I don't think there's anything that you might find missing on this car. And it has that appeal because of the way it looks because of these really nice bits inside and for how it drives. So all in all, a fresh choice for someone who wants to make a purchase in the entry-level premium SUV segment. And I think we'll end on that note. So that is our time with the new Volvo XC40 here. If you have been following our channel on YouTube, do hit that subscribe button. If you did like this video, if you found it useful, do hit that like button too. And until next time, my name is Karan and I'll see you again in another video. Goodbye.